back again guys, I'm BA Willie, and today on my garage series, I think this is going to be episode 8 if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to be showing you guys how to adjust the suspension on your supermoto or dirt bike. Now for a lot of you, I am like 5'4", like 190, 200, 200 something pounds. I'm pretty heavy, but a small guy, and uh, my issue is, is usually on this bike, since I haven't adjusted it yet, I can't really touch very well, and that sucks for me. <laughs> I mean, I tiptoe around everywhere and a lot of people kind of make fun of that. But today what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the suspension. So starting with the rear shock. So now I've got my Supermoto jacked up on a bucket. I know that is not safe, I understand, but it is on a bucket. Because the one thing that you want to get is you want to get your rear tire off the ground. And I have this here it's not really putting pressure on it it's just to stop it from moving side to side so don't worry about this <laughs> it's a very sketchy setup i understand now what you're trying to get to is this right here this is your rear shock you want no pressure on it and what i've already done is if you see these notches if you don't already have one i don't have one on me also you need a spring uh wrench or you can use i've done a lot of times like I did with this one, I took a uh, flathead screwdriver right here and just kind of knocked it a little bit and it turned loose. So now I can turn it with my finger. So as you can see, I have, I would say about two inches right here in between here and here of that I can go down or up. Now, if I go down, if I go further down here, I think it's about an inch already off. If I continue to go down, that is going to raise the bike up. Well, what we want is to go down. So we're actually going to take this retaining ring right here. This one stops it. And we're going to run it up as high as we can go without bottoming it out. Because we don't want to bottom out necessarily. We want to run it up. So we're going to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, we're going to keep going. I'm moving as fast as I can. All right, now it's starting to get a little tight. There must be some dirt and threads. Let me hold up this hand, get a little in here. Got some dirt in the threads. Also, heads up, so you don't ever get stuck like this, is if you have dirt in your threads, probably should have washed your bike my bike has been sitting outside for two months until i got into a garage so uh yeah dirt's gonna be there so i'll be right back i'm gonna grab a toothbrush really quick and then we're gonna start over again here with the uh trying to get this thing to go up all right guys grab an old toothbrush actually it looks pretty decent but it's an old toothbrush and i'm going to scrub these here Really good. Probably should have done this before. Get all this in here. Sorry, trying to hold the camera and work at the same time. It's kind of aggravating sometimes. You know, struggle though of being a moto vlogger and trying to teach people how to wrench at the same time. Comes in crazy, crazy things. All right, looks like that's pretty clean. It's uh, the toothbrush was pretty clean. Put it off the side. And look here, we're back and on our way. Woohoo! Oh, oh, and we're gonna get stuck again. Crap. So either we didn't clean the spot good enough or we're just stuck. So let's grab a different wrench and see if we can do it with a wrench. All right, guys, so we're back moving again. Sorry, I had taken it's getting a little tight here, and every once in a while, and I have this here oil filter wrench and what i'm doing is i'm literally going on little hooks and it will move every once in a while now i know this is not the proper way to do it i'm going to get a lot of comments saying hey why don't you have a you know spring wrench well i did and i have no idea what happened to it so now we're in this situation where having to use an oil filter wrench We're just going to keep going up. 
until we are in our desired location. My desired location is almost arrived. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop about right there so I don't bottom this thing out. And now, once I've turned that one, this one's still pretty tight because you got a shot pressing on it. I'm gonna actually see, hold on. I can drop the rear wheel in here. All right, now our free floating, there is no pressure on it. I'm actually gonna have to knock that one loose to move it. So I'm gonna be right back and let me knock this one loose. All right, guys, so I kind of went a little bit ahead of the plan. I was going to try and film me loosening this one up, but it was a little tired than what I wanted it to be, and I could not do it with just my bare hand. One bare hand, I needed both. So I've run it up, and that is where I'm going to go. That is where I'm going to stay at. So now I'm just going to bump this, lock this in, and that's going to be it for this piece at least. And then I'm gonna get up on the bike, see how the difference is. We'll take it off the bucket and then we'll adjust the front. So I'll be right back when we get to that point. All right, guys, so what's really cool about this right now, right, is I have loosened all my pinch bolts and nothing has moved. So that's actually pretty nice because now I can see where we're going. But as you can tell, I'm trying to go to the bars anyways. And so, even if it does move anywhere, it's not going to drop away severely fast. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try, see if I can get some weight to come down. And this might be a minute. So, I might need two hands. So, let me stop this for a second and see if I can do it. All right, guys. So, we're back and sorry again i wish i could have done this with more than one hand but i did loosen these bolts and i didn't move this i had to beat it a little bit to get down so i moved it about half an inch on both sides as you can tell and i actually like it so i think i'm going to stick with the uh half an inch rise on those they're about the same on the either side and as you can tell, I've tightened everything back up. So I like it. Uh, we're definitely getting somewhere. I mean, we're getting somewhere. It's still in pieces. But I promise it will start looking like something hopefully by next week. So thanks again for watching, guys. It's another episode of the Garage Series. I hope you enjoyed. This is how you change your uh, Supermoto slash dirt bike suspension. You want to loosen your back rear shock? We'll bring it up on the retaining ring and the other ring. And then you want to take your uh, collars on your split on your triple tree. You want to loosen those and you want to drop them if you're lower. And if you're raising it up, you do the opposite. You loosen these, come up, loosen this, and go down. So either way, but thanks guys for watching and deuce.